There were five American players involved. This is something very new for a buffet. Of course, in the past, there has been Americans' uh, input, but not to this level. This has been an extreme honor to be the one of five American artists helping to design the first American-designed clarinet. I've been playing clarinet since I was eight years old, always buffet clarinet, and I was extremely, extremely honored to be invited to join the research and development team for the new model. It's been a really wonderful collaboration, uh, both with musicians here and in, in France, in helping to design this instrument. We weren't um, collaborating at the same time. Um, the American side got together and, and the French side got together, um, yet we oftentimes came to the same conclusions. The initial inspiration for the tradition clarinet derived from the BC-20, which was uh, an old model that predated the R13. And they were known for this very beautiful sound, very beautiful warm sound. Um, but the scale was not great. We wanted to create an instrument that had, had that sound, but of course, much better intonation. We've combined the uh, bore concept from the BC-20 with the tone hole placement from the Tosca. And um, that combination has created um, a sound that we find to be um, very pure. Throughout the process, the team tested a combination of elements, different bells, different barrels, and a variety of metals that were used for the plating, including the posts. The unplating of the posts was very interesting and curious to all of us. Um, it's amazing the difference in sound without the plating on the posts, and I am a huge fan of that. I think it's going to be something of the future for everybody. Even though um, there's a silver plating and a nickel plating, the most effect comes from these unplated posts. We had prototypes that I was very excited about, um, and I was very anxious to try the first production, which I did, and I was extremely pleased with uh, the way they came off the production line. I thought they were. One of the things that makes this clarinet so special is the, um, the intonation. It is, um, the instrument is so even, both pitch and sound, that you don't have to do a lot of uh, manipulating to make a certain note sound good, and it just makes it so much easier and so much more fun to play. And I've already played their tradition um, in the orchestra, um, in a large hall. It works really well in that setting. Uh, it has a projection that works really well in the orchestra. I can really get through all of the, the people and sound in front of me. It's also something that, that works really well in chamber music settings and in solo settings. A pure sound is what carries to the back of the hall, what at every volume people can hear you and it can be very pleasant, but at, if you play with three P's or three F's, you can achieve a beautiful sound with a varied color. I believe that this instrument has achieved that. I think that this model really encompasses all of the wonderful attributes of the French school of clarinet playing and delivers the most pure sound yet. The more you play it, the more you want to play it. And it was so funny as we were testing the instrument, everybody was grabbing at it saying, oh, it's my turn, it's my turn, let me play it now. I very much feel like a proud father of this great new line of tradition. Definitely a sound at the purest level that I think will travel for generations. Thank you.